One of the common questions we get is, how do I apply the arm care system to my general everyday work? So first off, we're going to jump into the key metrics to give a quick example of how you know I run this when I'm coaching my players. So first things first, we scroll over arm strength. What we see is this player is not quite at that 66% arm strength. He's barely low on pretty much everything. We can see we're looking for 20% on IR and ER. He's at 19. We're looking for 15% on scaption and grip, and we're at 12 and 14. So he's a little bit down. And there's two things that can happen on that, which we'll get into in a minute. It's either because, number one, he just needs to get that training up. We need to build that strength. Or number two, if he's taking more, more than one exam, we can find out if this athlete's actually fatigued. We'll get down into that in a second. After that, we're going to look into shoulder balance. So even though the strength is a little bit low, we can see he's very well balanced. He's at a 0.97, which means he's almost a one-to-one -one ratio between front side and back side accelerators and decelerators. So that's a good thing. So we know that his strength is a little bit low, but he's balanced. So we're in a good position with that. Now we can go over to the strength velocity ratio. We can see he's not an overly hard thrower, but with that, we're able to know he's strong enough to handle that, that velocity. So there's two things here. Even though his strength is down and his velocity is not high, we know that number one, he could be a good candidate for a weighted ball program, some velocity enrichment, or he's a player that we could actually add a little extra pitch totals to if everything else is looking good. Then we go into our arm fatigue, and now we're seeing this player has done a post-exam, and we're seeing that he's actually gained strength. So now we're giving some context to those fresh exam numbers. It's this, this is a player that was down in strength on his initial exam, but it turns out we actually just didn't warm this player up enough. So he was actually gaining strength and still warming up as he was throwing. So this is something we really need to fix on our end, and we need to do a better job of warming this athlete up and preparing him for the workload we're about to give him. And then with that, we have our arm recovery, which is comparing fresh exam to fresh exam. We take that into context with our uh, post exam that we just showed. He's down in strength, and we, we fix this here. If we add 5 pounds to his uh, IR strength, if we add 3.8 to his scaption and add 6 to his grip, we can see he's going to be well over that 70% that we were looking at earlier in terms of all those numbers. So we know this was just our fault. We did not warm this athlete up well enough to get him ready for the day. So if it takes us an extra three minutes to get this athlete prepped and ready to go, it's going to be worth our time, not just for health, but even more important when it comes to the season for his performance.